Hello guys, how are we all? So, Super Sunday, gym, tick, dog walk, tick. Now, gonna work on the bike. So, I actually want to go from my 30cc to a 40cc tire, because I want to start doing a little bit more off-road. But I keep getting asked about the tires I'm using at the minute, the Ritchie Alpine JB, so I want to do a little vlog about that today, really, and what I think to them. It'd be rude not to make sure the tyres are on properly by at least taking it around the block once, twice. <laughs> Hello guys, it's a very warm afternoon here in Norfolk and we're going to talk about this. It's the Ritchie Alpine JB 30C tyre. Before we go too far, obviously I am supported by Ritchie, so do with that as you wish, but I am going to give you a completely honest review and thoughts on these tyres. So in the tyre market, at the 30C size, it's really difficult because there's not a vast, vast amount of options, in my opinion. So you've got a few on the line. So you've got WTB Exposures, Continental GP5000s, you know, Panaraces and things like that. And then you've got these Ritchie Alpine JBs. And when I first tried them, I wasn't really sure what to make of them. So I've given them a really good road test of around 2000 miles. And I kind of want to tell you how that's gone. The first thing is I want to talk to you about how Richie described this tire. So they describe it as a kind of road tough tire. So it's a tire, in my opinion, that you use on the road, but it's also got a lot of toughness. So if you wanted to go off on some little trails or give it a bit of abuse, you'd get away with it. And you can tell that straight away by looking at the tread. So it's got a very interesting tread pattern and it barely looks affected knowing I've done thousands of miles on these. So that's quite impressive. Puncture wise, I haven't had a single puncture. I haven't been on the road constantly. I've been doing a little bit of off-road. Like if I see a little track or a trail, I'll give it a go. And they seem to have been absolutely fine. And I get where they're coming from with this really good road tire which can go off-road i get that one thing i did find with it was you can tell the compound of where they make this pattern is very tough so what i ended up doing after probably a couple of hundred miles was actually dropping my pressure by about 10 psi and that made them feel a little bit more comfortable not that they were uncomfortable to start with i just mean it made them feel that little bit more softer to compensate for having obviously this harder compound that can do a little bit more of the rugged stuff when it comes to speed i actually felt about the same speed and judging by what my garmin tells me it felt about the same work to get my kind of 18 and a half mile an hour average out of it so i didn't feel as i was working any harder compared to being on let's say a 28c tire let's say a gator skin or something like that I actually felt you know i was giving the same effort for that so rolling resistance wise i'm not entirely sure on what the figures are but it didn't feel like i had to work harder to be on a slightly bigger more rugged tire one thing that's very good about this tire is it is actually tubeless so that means that you can actually put sealant in there's not many tires on the market of the 30c variety that are tubeless so that's one thing to bear in mind price point this is probably the most impressive thing about this. These tires are half the price. Yes, half the price of what you'd expect to pay for one of the bigger names, like a Continental GP5000. And I know that sounds crazy, but they are half the price and they might not be as quick as a GP5000, but they are tubeless. You do get some mega miles out of them. And I think they're made of a little bit more of a tougher compound. So. They're not kind of in the same league in my eyes, or they, they, they're made for a different purpose. So a GP5000, I think, is made more for road racing, and this is made to be a bit more of a, a more fun, rugged, you know, adventure tyre in a smaller size, in my eyes. But they are half the price. So if you're paying like £60 each for a GP5000, bear in mind you're paying £30 each for something like this. And that is a 30C, because there's not many good 30C tyres on market. Tubeless 
you know, very rugged, very puncture resistant, and not slow tire. So in my eyes, I really like these. You know, I think on these kind of vlogs and when we talk about tires and stuff like that, we actually need to talk, you know, about what they are in real life. It's all well and good saying, oh, look at this carbon mean machine bike and it being 20 grand and no one's even gonna be in the market for that. But you know, you have to talk about the range of things. So in my eyes, the price point is amazing. 10 out of 10 on pricing. You know, the rugged kind of road style tire, whether that has a market for that, I think it's amazing because it's perfect for what I do. Because I love doing a lot of road. I am like 90% road, 10% gravel. So I kind of feel really confident in going on these trips where you might have to use something like Camus and it might take you in the middle of nowhere on a little trail. I feel confident in taking these tires on a ride like that. As far as it goes for road slash adventure tires in a 30C variety, I think these are amazing. For what I do, the ultra distance, they tick a lot of boxes. Amazing on the road, they'll manage off-road, they're tubeless, and genuinely, price point is amazing. So, do with that as you wish. This tire, because I'm doing a bit more gravel at the minute, is probably going to go into my spare room for a while until I start doing some more road challenges. So guys, if you liked this video, hit me a like, give me a comment, and do you know what you should do? You should subscribe. Let's, let's subscribe to it as well today, yeah? <laughs> and if you know of any other ties that you should think should be in a lineup like this, drop it in the comments. See you later. <laughs>